Well, we also know most patients entering hospitals are primarily older and many of them are in nursing homes. That's where over half of our region's coronavirus deaths are coming from. And as two on your side, Steve Brown explains, our elected officials are demanding answers. By now, everybody in New York State is saying, what the heck is going on with nursing homes? Gallivan points to the grim statistics. Half of all COVID-related deaths in Western New York are nursing home residents. Two dozen facilities have had virus fatalities. Six have had over 10 deaths. Gallivan, ranking Republican on the State Senate Health Committee, wants answers. You want hearings. You want a public examination of how the state has responded. I think that's the only way that we do that. I, I think that's the only way to accomplish it is a public hearing. There's something wrong. I don't know what it is, but certainly it should be examined. The state Senate Minority Leader John Flanagan wants more than just hearings. He wants an independent investigation of what state government did to protect nursing homes. In a statement, Flanagan says, we know allowing COVID into a nursing home is an invitation for it to spread, and we need to make sure that we take the necessary steps to protect residents. There is already a joint investigation of nursing homes ongoing. It includes State Attorney General Letitia James, who along the way to becoming the state's top law enforcement officer, was endorsed by fellow Democrat Governor Andrew Cuomo, who is running the statewide COVID response. Gallivan keeps hammering the same point. Now is the time to ask questions about nursing homes and how they should be protected. We shouldn't be using the fact that we're, we're still in the middle of a crisis or at the end of it right now to shirk our responsibility. The questions should be asked. They should be asked now. And uh, we should be making sure that we're proposing answers as soon as we possibly can. It's important to point out that Gallivan, Flanagan and Albany Republicans are in the minority in the assembly, the Senate and across the state. But Gallivan says now is not the time to dive into petty partisan politics when lives are literally at stake. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.